whether you're Christian or you live in the world, there's a spirit that wants to distort your identity. In 2023, people are putting their identity in anything out there. People want to identify so badly with a community, with a group. People want to belong somewhere. You see this very clearly in the LGBTQ+, right? They're just longing to identify. So they'll change their sex attraction. People are switching their gender because of a spirit that's distorting their identity. We see people that are even leaving their kids and their wife so they can switch their gender and put their identity there. Even in the body of Christ, there is a spirit that wants to take your identity. I see it all the time in Christianity. There's a spirit that wants to distort your identity. Christians are longing for titles. They're longing for positions. They're longing for the recognition of man. So they're putting their identity in a ministry gift. To be an apostle, to be a prophet, a pastor, a teacher, evangelist, these are ministry gifts. Ministry gifts, administration gifts, plain, point blank, period. You function and you operate in this gift. I may be operating in a pastor, in a teacher, but I'm still going to flow a little bit in evangelism. Some prophecy is going to pop in and out. This is a ministry gift. But what is happening in the body of Christ is that someone speaks one prophecy and then boom, they change their Instagram bio. They start telling everyone they are a prophet, right? They are the Elijah to come. They are prophet Samuel, their prophet Job, their prophet Billy, their prophet David. They, they put their whole identity in being a prophet. They put their whole identity in being a pastor. If you want to put pastor in, you know, your bio, if you want to put prophet in your bio, it is what it is, right? That's okay. But it's different when you put your whole identity in that. And then what happens when maybe they lose that position or maybe they don't have that gift anymore because the spirit of Saul entered into their heart and now they're lost and they're forcing a gift that they don't even have anymore. And they're going through depression, trying to seek the approval of man in the background because they put their whole identity in that gift. Christians are putting their identity in a church title. The world and people of the world are trying to put their identity in their significant other. A lot of people put their identity in their job. Oh, I do real estate. Their whole identity is in their job. So if they lost that job, they're broken. They're crushed. It's like they've lost themselves. It's like they've lost their soul. So this happens, yes, even within the church. People put their identity in how other people see them. There's a spirit who wants to distort your identity. Where does our identity come from as Christians? Our identity comes from our worth in the cross, our worth in the blood of Jesus, our worth in who God says we are. Beloved, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God. You are seated with Christ. He has blessed you with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realms. You have been saved by grace through faith. It is not of your own doing, not of any man's own works. So that way, no one should boast. So be discerning 
of this spirit. Recognize it. And other Christians and other people. This is happening even with pastors who have hundreds of thousands, millions of followers. Their whole identity is in their platform. So when someone comes against them, they got hurt. They got rejection and they're dealing with rejection and they're ministering from a place of hurt and rejection to millions of people because their whole identity is in that thing. So when another pastor with a big platform discredits them and comes against their ministry, now they're dealing with hurt and rejection because they've put their whole soul and identity into their gift into their title, into their work. God could strip everything from you. You'd still be the same soul. You'd still have the same identity. You'd have the same love. You'd have the same father. You'd have the same title, which is a child of God, a friend of Jesus, a servant of the Lord. So I give you this word to say, watch out. Watch out for the spirit that wants to take your identity, whether you're in the church or not in the church. I believe if you're watching this, you know, you're rocking with Jesus. You're in the church. Beware of the spirit. God bless you, my friend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.